Gardy, Scottish falsetto, Sock Puppet Theatre, and so am I, and so is he. And here we are at the Leicester Comedy Festival, where we appear to have found a trampoline. Boy! Hello, we are the Scottish Falsetto Sock Puppet Theatre, and so am I, and so is he. And here we are outside Leicester Museum. Leicester Museum, yes, Leicester Museum, the home of all things Leicester. So what's Leicester famous for? Leicester is famous for many, many things, including the fattest man of the late 18th century. Wow, that's a prize that I think everybody's going for, yes. But it's a prize that is won by Daniel Lambert. Daniel Lambert, very, very fat man. Picture Chris Moyles in a suit with James Corden and another fat man who doesn't immediately spring to mind. Wow, that's fat, that's very, very fat. James Corden would have been just one leg of Daniel Lambert. Was, was, Daniel, was Daniel Lambert a race? No, he, he, he was a very fat man. We are the Scottish Falsetto Sock Puppet. What have you got a guitar for? I've got a guitar because I wish to sing. Okay, I wouldn't get your hopes up. I've seen the technical arrangements. <laughs> do, you, do you know, I've got a nickname for this guitar. Have you? Yes, I call this guitar Cat the Technician. Watch this. Cat the Technician, could you try and play the next track live from the start, please? I'm a song. You wear me when you're cooking with a rock. I'm ready to stop and make a You can't push me on the floor, you have to go. Then you put on your shoes and walk, because I'm a sock. So what did we do for our 18th birthday? An interesting question, why the hell are you asking that? Because this is, ladies and gentlemen, as I believe you know, the 18th birthday of the Leicester Comedy Festival. Well... Were we to be 18 years old, we'd have a fantastic answer for that. But sadly, we have been in existence as socks for about how long? About five years. About five years. So ask us again in 13 years' time when the Leicester Comedy Festival will be celebrating its... That's put you on the spot. It has. 18 plus 28 plus... We'll be celebrating its 31st birthday. And then, then we'll still be... 13 or so years short of an answer. We will inevitably never quite be as old as the Leicester Comedy Festival. Happy birthday, Leicester Comedy Festival. Yes, you're now old enough to vote and drive in some countries in Europe. Never done Bargain Hunt before, or, as you may have noticed, seen Bargain Hunt. <laughs> That's what has in our way. Hello. Oh, hello. Who are you? I am Mr. McBargain Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I am a university student out on a Friday night. But if I wasn't, I would be an ancient Roman. Well, what are you doing here in the middle of the muddy Midlands, Mr. Ancient Roman? I have decided to found a city. I didn't know we'd lost a city. You had, but I have founded it along the side of this long, straight, ancient road. And I am going to call it Ratars. Are you sure that's right? I'm pretty sure that's right, yes. The ancient city of Ratars. I shall build a jury wall. What's that for? It's to keep all your juries in. All your ju stay there on the wall, all your juries, stay there. And I'm going to build um, a, a museum next to the jury wall as well, full of all Stone Age people in big bear skins and stuff. And then I'm going to die and run away and the place can all go to rack and ruin. Fair enough. Bye-bye, Mr Roman. Oh, hello. Who are you, Mr Man in a horny helmet? Well, hello. I am a Viking. Are you? Yes. I'm going to take over the Midlands now and... Probably going to start building mud huts and making beakers. You don't really know the history of Leicestershire very well. Shall I fast forward to the Middle Ages? Why not do that? Hello! Here I am in the Middle Ages. Well, well, welcome to the Middle Ages, Mr. Middle Ages man. 
Now, this is a town called Ratai. I fear it's not going to be called Ratai any longer. Is it not? No! No, for I have some French people here, and they're going to give it names like we're going to have a street called Belvoir Street. Yeah, we can see that. Can we see Beaver? OK, you can see Beaver. I prefer Belvoir. I've written Belvoir down on the map. Well, we're going to call it Beaver. Oh, fair enough then. And we're going to have lots of other places like that. We'll have Kibworth Beauchamp. Yeah, we'll call that Beach. Oh, come on, can you pronounce nothing in this place? I'm going to go away and leave it to some other foreigners. So, here we have Lee Eicestershire. Yeah, why did you call it that? I believe you called it that. Oh, yeah, so I did. Yeah, we have Lee Eicestershire, founded by the Romans and then developed by some other people. And then, who are you, man, wearing some sort of 18th century clothes? I am the Industrial Revolution. I have spotted that you've got a nice place here for a conjunction of a main road from north to south and also some main railway lines running from north to south and from east to west. And there's also a nice canal, which I think I'll just build here. And then I'm going to be very big in ladies' tights. Yeah, that's about it. Until the 20th century, when we invented, invented David and Richard Attenborough. Yeah, that's an invention enough for a century, isn't it? It is! Well done us! We are Leicester. Then what else did we do? Leicester then invented the Leicester Comedy Festival and shut up for the night. Got a bit of wind on your microphone. I have, sorry, I had beans at lunch. Blown your kilt up. <clears throat> I just been down to the windy city. Was that what we were going to sing? It wasn't. Let's go take it from the top. <clears throat> L E I C E S T E E R Lester Comedy Fest Devil L E I O C E S A T E E R Lester Comedy Fest Devil Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the admittedly copyright breaking song that we've just come up with for the Leicester Comedy Festival, which you probably can't use because uh, it'll cost you a fortune. Let's sing it again purely for our own benefit. Largely, we're the only people who will ever hear this. L-E-I, yeah, C-E-S, everybody. T-E-E-R, Leicester Comedy Fest, devil.